been up to no good A lot of wrong that I've done Cause they're all my rowdy ways She gonna pack up and run She mad Too mad to make up She mad Too mad to make up All the sorries I can say Won't be enough Swore I wouldn't do it Never let her down But trouble got away Chasing me around She mad Too mad to make her She mad Too mad to make her All the sorries I can say Won't be enough Five Blues Band. That's off their hot new CD that's going to be released September 6th. Uh, 10,000 watts. And I happen to have the guitar player, Mr. Jeff Taylor, on the horn of the Humagoo. Come on, guys. Welcome aboard. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for How you doing? Us. Yeah, good. Superman. And uh, yeah, Jeff. Jeff Schrodel is the guitar player. He's laying all the good, great riffs and everything. And Mr. Taylor with those deep vocals and stuff. And I want to thank you, man. You guys gave me your Charmed and Dangerous last year, year and a half ago. And that is one of my, you know, my top CDs that I need to crank for everybody. And that is some powerhouse awesome. blues here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Congratulations for everything you guys do. Oh, thank you. You got it. Thanks for playing our music. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sh- Mr. Jeff, uh, Mr. Guitar, tell us a little bit about the band how you guys came to be, and uh, just a little bit of bio going on for us. Yeah, we're from Milwaukee and uh, been around quite a long time, uh, 17, almost 18 years now, so we're, we're, we're not quite the overnight sensation. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, we've been working it, and, um, you know, about four or five years into um, playing, kind of found our sound a little bit and then started writing music and that's when things really took off when we started doing our own stuff and so um, 10,000 Watts is our fifth album that's going to be released September 6th on Blind Pig Records and it's all original songs like the last several records and um, it's uh, Alan Arbor on drums and Mark Salveson on bass and Raymond Tevich on keys in addition to uh, 
uh, JT and me here on the phone. Yeah, and you have such a thunderhouse, you know, band that comes across, and you know, JT, I guess, Mr. Taylor, you're just you're just fabulous on the vocals. I mean, my my, you need to be. I know you won the independent music award last year for uh, cooking in the kitchen and uh, yeah, congratulations yeah. on that off of charmed and dangerous yes yes a uh, great song and uh you know the slow blues cooking in the kitchen and uh you know we're real proud of that one we really try to um just hone in on that, that, that traditional piece and get a real solid slow groove and uh just great lyrics and so it turned out to be a um a good song for us, and uh, so we like playing it, and we like doing it, so. And I imagine when you guys, you know, one of the neat things last year, you were taking your band, uh, you know, Charmed and Dangerous, you were playing over in Europe. Um, yeah. You know, you guys are worldwide. I mean, you were top, and you, your Charmed and Dangerous is on the Roots Music Report for last year, and that's what you're going to be doing with 10,000 watts. Um, are you guys planning on taking this over to Europe, too, soon, or this year, possibly? Yep, uh, we'll be in Switzerland um, in November for uh, five or six or seven dates and uh, likely back over in Europe somewhere, not sure yet, uh, Germany, France, Netherlands, more, most likely uh, next year. Wow. wow. So, yeah, we'll be, we'll be back there a couple times within the next 12 months, put it that way. Let me ask you guys, I love to talk from the fan experience. Are the crowds in Europe, are they... You know, when I, I'm a fan of the Who, that's part of my name, the Whomagoo. Is it very much more of a, I don't know, a rowdier type of crowd? Because I see flags rolling. And what's it like when you guys play up there a little bit, Mr. Taylor? I guess you can. I think we, when we're in, we're in Germany. We're mostly north of Germany, like Munich and Hamburg yeah. and uh, Lutein. And uh, it was just a wonderful experience. You know, very, very appreciative. You know, the crowds weren't rowdy at all, but just very appreciative of. of I think American music in general, and they have a keen interest in that. And uh, just just really, really hospitable. You know, the crowds were great, huge crowds, and uh, it was awesome, man. You know, wherever we went was just, uh, it was really nice. And so it's just a nice appreciation of, I think, overall American music, but specifically blues. You know, that people come out, we were in one town. You know, everybody was in the town square, village square, and it was just, it was an amazing thing, so... Um, yeah, and I, I, I expect the same thing uh, when we go in November as well. Yeah. Now, I'm penning all these great songs, uh, Jeff. How do you guys put all these things together? Because you have so many original tracks. And again, I need to give you Mr. Tom Hambridge. Wow, producing this latest one, Grammy producer for your new one, 10,000 mm-hmm. Watts. We're going to get to that title track real soon. How does that come to be a little bit? I like to kind of get that inspiration when I talk to you guys. Yeah, I mean we we write all the all the songs. Um, Tom Tom Hambridge has produced uh, our new record as well as our last two records, and mm. and a lot of the a lot of the albums he produces, he writes the songs or co-writes the songs. In our case, um, you know we write our own songs, and, and Tom Tom does the production from there, and and uh, you know it's a process. It's it's. Uh, you know, we oftentimes start with a lyric or a concept and then try to build the feel or the style around that lyric. And, um, y- you know, I-, I think, you know, the band kind of comes together at that point and tries to piece together the parts and, you know, get the right key and the right range and the right groove. So uh, we've kind of found our formula for doing it. It changes from song to song, you know, sometimes... It might start with you know, a couple of the different guys in the band, but uh, but yeah, we're we're really proud of just the fact that we're writing all original music, and you know we've had some people cover our songs uh, live, you know, on YouTube overseas. People send us videos. We got a there's a record coming out next month by a guy and an Irish, pretty well known Irish blues singer uh, that's covered two of our songs. So uh, yeah. that's always fun to see too. I mean, you are a hidden gem. I mean, I have to tell you, last year, and Chris Crow mentioned it to me, my friend, and Chris Crow band, he says, Tom, you, you're a little more chatty. My, I was so honored, my friend. I think I kept that saying, is it okay if I play it? I kept thinking it was, my mind, it was so big, you guys are just so great. And I felt so honored on my little show, you know, I'm just spinning it, you know, and you're right, people are covering you, 
And it was like, yeah, big stuff, Altered Five Blues Band, you know, in Milwaukee. And uh, I'll tell you what, guys, let's get to it right now. The title track, 10,000 Watts, Mr. Jeff Taylor on the vocals and Jeff Schroll on the guitar, Alan Arbor on the drums. Thanks. <laughs> That is that great thunder. You guys are just thunder. And when I was reading the press on you from the Blues Mags and, you know, Jeff T., Jeff Taylor on the in the vocals and Jeff on the guitar and Alan Arbor. And speaking of Alan, Alan, he's a cool dude, isn't he? I love Alan Arbor. I know him from playing on the roof with the Chris Crow band and all that good karma um, back in the day. And I didn't know he was your drummer, you know, doing this until I discovered the Altered Five Blues Band. So, uh. A lot of good stuff, guys. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Al- Alan's, uh, Alan's a heck of a drummer, so uh, happy to have him. He's got that little... I can hear him because, you know, you got drums, but he's more of an... Inst- I don't know what to say. I'm always a fan, but he's got more of that filler stuff, like playing on the edge of the drum, should I say. More of a jazz along with the hard-ass beat. Um, well, you know, one of his one of his many talents is that he... Is he is able to accentuate, especially when guys are soloing, and you know, he he can create right along with them. You know that's one of the things that we notice right away. I mean, and he can play a lot of different styles. 